how to use Trello for project management step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with project management on Trello. So let's get into it. Now, the best part about using Trello is that it is simple, efficient, and has a clean interface. It prioritizes keeping your daily and useful features right on deck so you're not drowned in features that you're not even using. Plus, it's available for free. Now, to get started with Trello, simply head on over to Trello.com and click on Get Trello for Free on the top right. Once you do that, you can create your account on Trello using Google, Microsoft, Apple, Slack, or just your email address. Now, I have created my account on Trello over here. This is a very simple account. And first off, let's understand the hierarchies of Trello. So in Trello, you can build different workspaces to segregate different areas of your work or different agencies you're running or different projects you're running. So I can build one workspace. Let's say I have this workspace called Mira, and then I can click on create and create a separate workspace. Let's say it's called Durden. And I can choose the workspace type, let's say it's related to marketing. And then after that, I can click on continue over here. I can add different workspace members into both of these different workspaces, and I can be the owner of both of these workspaces. This can help you in running multiple different projects or agencies at once and being able to flip through them without having to share any of the data or worrying about the permissions of any of the members. Now, once you build your workspace, you have a few different settings. On the left, you have boards, members, your general workspace settings, your tables, and calendars. So the first and most integral part of any workspace is building the boards. So if you go into the board section over here, they have a couple of different templates available for you to choose from. So you can go into the templates over here and choose a particular template that you like. Trello has templates that have been donated or created by its users, as well as templates that Trello itself has built for us. However, if you are looking for something of your own, you can always choose to start from scratch. So I'm going to create a new board and you can choose a simple colored background. So I'm going to go with a really pink background because I really like that. And then I'm going to choose a board title. So this is going to be for, let's say this is going to be Durden's Ecom like this. And then after that, I am going to click on create and then I'll just get started with a blank board over here. So now I have added this board and by default, all the boards on Trello are in the form of a Kanban view. If you want to get the other views such as calendar, timeline, dashboard, map views, you have to upgrade to Trello premium. So if you want, you always have the option to do so. Now, on the top, you have three default buckets or uh, sections or groups that are created. That is your to-do list, your doing, and your done list. Now, you can customize this however you want. So for us, let's say I'm managing my online store over here. And for that, I want to potential products. And then I want to add live products. And then after that, I want to maybe add something like, let's say these are my potential products, live products. Then I have maybe something like the rejected products that I don't want to sell. Rejected product campaigns like this. So in this way, you can build different kind of segregations, whatever you want, if there is something else. So let's say if this is a more standard project manager where I am supposed to maybe work in a marketing agency, marketing, let's say I do that. Before this, I can build maybe tasks and then I have in progress and then I might have stuck. You can add stuck as a status or a label as well as a bucket. This just depends on the type of industry you're in and how frequently you will be using this particular status. Now, after that, we are going to add a done or completed section. Now, from here, you can enter cards, which are basically your tasks. So you can enter a card. Let's say our first task for our marketing is to build a brand portfolio like this 
and then if you click on that particular task you can add more information about it so you can add different labels and you can create your own labels such as priority based labels you can also create labels to define maybe you're working for this brand or on this particular task and if it's for another brand on another task you can label them with those brand names however let's say i want to add priorities on my labels so i want to add low priority like this and then this is going to be medium pry and then after that this will be high pry and i'll do it in a red color click on save and in this way we have these three labels and you can insert a label for every task you also have a checklist that you can build so you can enter a checklist or subtask so let's say this is going to be checklist like this and then you can add items within that so these can be subtasks so for our brand portfolio choose colors choose logo choose brand ambassador like this so you can add you know multiple different things that you might have to do under a larger task because obviously tasks have multiple different steps and you might have a few different steps for certain tasks so you can add those over here after that you have the dates obviously this is going to be the due date that you might want to complete this on Below that, you can also set a reminder so you are reminded of that task. Then you also have the option to watch a task. This basically means that you are not assigned to this task, but you are watching it and you are going to get updates whenever there is new information or progress on this particular task. Then you have the cover. You can use some cover images for a task as well. And then you also have the option to add buttons and power-ups on Trello, but I like to do that directly from the boards. Now, as you guys can see over here, we have our little card. And once I have begun working on this particular task, I can move it to the in progress section. Once I do that, once it has been completed, I can move it to the done section. Now, if you want to add further optimization of your Trello boards, you can go into the top left and you have power-ups over here. So you can click on add power-ups and from here you have the option to add Slack, you have the option to add Google Drive and other automated tools. You also have basic automations you can build such as getting notified whenever a new task is created or getting notified when something happens. So this just can help you in making sure that with the progress in tasks you are updated and a lot of the things that you would have to manually do are automatically done. Now, once you go back into your workspace from your board, so we are in the Durden section, we can go into the particular workspace and you can go on ahead and view the members. You can build private boards and build only boards as well as invite guests to further optimize your boards on Trello. So in this way, you can get started with project management on Trello. It's really simple, easy, and effective, and make sure that you achieve your goals and milestones on time. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.